KC, the Red Pill Alpha, back at you fellas again with that motherfucking heat. Y'all already know what time it is. Wrists, elbows, knees, feet, shin to the back of her motherfucking neck, holding her down, locking her down, submerging her down that motherfucking game, bitch. Please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. As soon as I'm done with these videos, pipe in high status. You're going to get it down your phone into your ear, all ear candy game. <clears throat> Excuse me, damn right. Got any comments? Get them in my Gmail, RailsFargo12 at gmail.com. It's R E L L S F A R G O 1 2 at gmail.com. You can get at me on social, I mean, on YouTube or any social media site. That's cool. That's what's up. But if you want your questions answered in a professional manner, get at me in the Gmail. Um, <clears throat> you want any dating advice, financial advice, social advice, get at me in the Gmail just as well. I can answer some shit, you know? I'm all ears. And anyone that want to join my social media status, you know, anywhere on my social media or whatever, hit me in the DM so I know who you are so we can avoid these trolls. And remember to comment after every video. It's the shit. This motherfucker gonna stay lit. And remember to like, share, and subscribe. It's the motherfucking message. Let's keep this shit pushing. She makes you take her on two or three dates, huh? Before playtime, huh? <laughs> yeah. Some of these women tend to do that. <clears throat> you know? They tend to um make you take them out on dates. You know, fuck one date, two dates, date three, four. I know guys that went on four or five dates before they actually got laid or whatever. I know a guy who went on a couple dates. Man, this dude was talking before. This dude went on... Uh, he was telling me he went on like two or three dates before the chick actually decided to give him a kiss. Like, what the fuck? I ain't never heard of me. What the fuck? Me personally, man, I don't get into all that shit. You know, once you show me certain signs that you're not trying to progress to that sexual level, then I'm going to fall back on you. That's how I am. I'm not going to be the dude trying to get to a whole other level when I know there's other guys that got to that level. And then they take them shit. Or it's another guy that she's dealing with right then and there that's take that took her to that level. You know what I'm saying? They never had to go to that level. Smashed on the first date. Some of them ain't some of them ain't even had a date. And they still broke that motherfucker down, you know? Broke her all the way off and what, you know. Got me fucked up. I ain't gonna play that position. Nah. Now let's get to it. <clears throat> Check this out. You are not alone. I've been in a situation just like this before. I remember I bumped into a chick on Facebook two days after I actually, you know, joined that motherfucker. A couple days after I actually joined it, she jumped in my DM. I remember that shit. You know, she jumped into my DM. I was talking about how we used to go to school together back in the ninth grade. Lying like a motherfucker, nigga. <laughs> I knew she was lying because I got expelled from the Jackson County School District in the eighth grade. And anybody that know me know I ain't never been to the ninth grade. Shit, fuck nah. I ain't never even stepped foot in a high school besides going up there for my children. You know, um, doing things for my children when they hit high school. You know, I had to get my GED. Shit, let's, let's get straight to it. <clears throat> Shit, I had to get my GED in prison right along with some college credit. So it definitely wasn't me she was talking about, you know. But, you know, I knew it was up. She wanted me to go ahead and, uh, you know, uh, get down with her program. You know, oh, I knew you in school or whatever, but, you know, to keep the communication going. And that was cool, you know. I ain't had no problem with that, you know. Since you lied and said you knew me in school when you know goddamn well you did, I'm a lie and play like shit. I was in that motherfucker with your shit. So I get up in them drawers. Ain't no problem with me. Shit, I'm keeping it real. Anyway, I somewhat played like I, you know, you know, I played played like it was me, you know, and instantly set up a date. Instantly, fuck all the bullshit. Let's get this date shit going. Let's get it set up. You know, she bit for it. She she you know she bit like it wasn't shit. Okay, we can get this going. I'm thinking, okay, shit, it's gonna be an easy one, right? You know, so we linked up and went to grab a few drinks. I was trying to get her back to my spot, but she was on some, you know, get to know me more type shit. She wanted to get to know me more and all that other shit. <clears throat> it must be crazy. 
So I fell back on her until she came back around with that ear candy game I wanted to hear. That ear candy, but you're going to tell me something. Let's talk about how we're going to get down. Other than that, it ain't really too much popping, you know? Or you can keep staying, you know, where you at and keep pushing. No bullshit, you know? Yeah, we got we we got around the freaking and doing all that crazy shit on the date or what. I mean, I'm gonna get into it, but she was still somewhat standoffish. So I read that, and a lot of you guys must understand that when you see something like that, you sense it. <clears throat> you read that in her body language when you're trying to get up on. I don't give a fuck if you're in the car, the back seat, shit, at the movies. I it don't matter. Shit, when you're trying to make that move. And she somewhat making the move with you, but at the same time, it's, there's a limit to it. Then she ain't trying to take it there, you know? It may, you, you may can get it next time, but then again, she may be that tease. That have you steady pushing and, you know, you getting aroused for nothing, you know? Damn that great get blue balls for nothing, real shit, because it's beneficial for her and what she want to receive out of you. Hey, this is what I got to offer. I let you feel on me, touch on me, but you're not going to stick it. But I, this is what I want from you, though. Take me on this date. Take me on that. You got women out there to play them games. You must watch them. <clears throat> you must watch them. Real shit. And um, excuse my throat and everything. I work out like it ain't shit, so I become a hot, you know, dehydrated. So we run into bottle waters like it ain't shit, you know. I have to bring that motherfucker in with me, but hey, it is what it is. We're going to get done. Yeah. You know me. I'm steady on that wet box hunt. Whether it's a chick in my ro in my rotation, you know, rotation, in my rotation, or something fresh. I definitely wasn't calling no girl back. I won't bring call her back. No. You're gonna have to get at me and let me know what's <clears throat> excuse me, let me know what's going down on how we're gonna make this move. Other than that, I ain't calling you. Why? I tried to progress with the sex. She wasn't having it. So me calling you back to see if we can set up another date or see if we can go and have sex or see if we can somewhat get that chemistry. It make you seem thirsty as a motherfucking needy. And a lot of guys fall into that motherfucking bracket. Being thirsty and needy and steady calling the chick back. When you pull back, when you pull back, you pull back. She's got to come in. She got to give you some kind of indication that she wants to be in. Other than that, man, if you pull back and then call her back, kind of playing yourself. Real shit. <clears throat> you know? So as I kept moving with my life, I got that infamous... Hey, stranger text. <laughs> you know, and she hit me with that hey, stranger in my Facebook DM simultaneously. It's like she hit it both at once or something. I don't know. Seemed like I got it both right. Text, DM, like literally one second apart. I'm like, okay. And she hit me like that real quick. You know, she must talk about something. Let's get to it. I haven't heard from this chick in about two months. That's what I'm telling myself. You know? So I hit her back like an hour later. She wanted to link up. Now let me remind you this. I fell back on her. So I'm figuring, you know, she's about to come, you know, come correct. She's about to uh, let us progress to that other level that I want to go to. I'm thinking she want to go to. That's how, that's how I'm thinking, though. You know, I'm, I'm thinking that. She got back at me. I didn't get back at her. She got back at me. So I'm feeling, okay, the ball's in my court, right? Let's get it going, you know. Hell, after the kissing on the neck, playing with that deal, trying to beat that motherfucker like he stole something on our first date, she still wasn't coming off that box at that time, you know. Now I'm thinking, yeah, she came to her fucking senses. It's about to go down. That's what I'm thinking. She hit me back. So I thought, this chick was talking about going on a helicopter ride, a horseback ride rooftop dinner. Bitch, you must be crazy. I instantly reversed that shit. I said, look, check this out. Let's go back to my place for a movie night and break my headboards. You know, I got no problem with that. We can knock them 
You go ahead and bust them motherfuckers up. You dig? <clears throat> she said, I can't be doing all that without at least a few dates. I knew right then and there this chick was on some bullshit. Especially, you know, the way she said it. She said it like more of a nonchalant. Like, huh? I don't care. I mean, that's not what I really want. I'm, on, I'm trying to do me or we can't really do nothing. Oh, yeah. You know. We cut that short quick as a motherfucker. You know, and I'm like, damn, you know, shit. Most of you dudes might think that, you know, she's just not that kind of girl. All she wanted was for you to not play her. You know, she wanted you to keep it 100 before she passed along that deal. No, nah, that's not it, bro. Not at all. She wanted to place me in a certain scent box that would be beneficial to her. Dates, conversations, platonic type shit. I wasn't going to get nowhere far with that. I peeped that. You know, whenever, you know, she made, she kind of made it, it's like she was purposely making it hard for me to get it. That's because she didn't want to give it up. That's how I took it. Otherwise, you'd be dropping it real quick, bro. A motherfucker's interested in you. She's feeling you like that. You fellas have been there. Y'all know y'all had. Y'all had women that dick, that dug you 100% that came about that motherfucker without. It wasn't no, it really wasn't no dates and shit because she was feeling you. You know, but when they ain't feeling you like that, they make you pay. And she tried to snatch me up like that. And you got to watch out for those two, three dates, four dates, five dates, or whatever. That affinity dating shit. Get the fuck out of here. Because it's all about you paying because she's not feeling you. So she make you pay because she's not feeling you. Ain't that scandalous and selfish as fuck? Is that what you're going to think? Yeah, scandalous. Yes, it is. But that's how they will play you. You must be that catch to where you can't get played like that. Real shit. Otherwise, yeah, they're going to try that shit. They will try. Only for what day coaches out here say, oh, man, that ain't shit, man. No, nah, you must not be the guy. No, nah, nigga. You can be the best guy or the best looking guy, the best built guy with all the finances. You're going to always get a motherfucker that's going to try you. Real shit. You know? <clears throat> you know? I knew damn well she's not treating all men the same. She got smashed by dudes on the first date and smashed without a date. I know that. Get the fuck out of there. I'd have been around the block, up and down the block, hell and heaven and heaven and hell and back. Get the fuck up, man. Come on now. You know, she thought that she had a sucker in her pocket. That wasn't happening. A lot of you dudes go through this shit daily. You must understand that if she wants to sleep with you, it'll go down that day or she would not make it. So hard for you to smash the next time you see her. Watch out for these play date chicks. Once you sense the faking, dump her off. And that's that play date shit, you know. Bitch, you want to play with you on those dates. You know, play with you with those dates and shit. Got you thinking that you you leading up to something. When it ain't nothing there. It was never going to be nothing there. She just got you in that position because you were in that position. Because she's not feeling you to get you into that other position. To where she's feeling you like that and she's going to break it off for you. Oh, she got motherfuckers over there in that position. You just not one of them. Like this shit, share this shit, subscribe. It's the motherfucking message. And get at your boy. Holler at me, man. I'm out. Yeah.